Hey gang, we're in here. Welcome on back to the Retrocade. It's Wednesday. We're wrapping up our twin bill of our playthrough of the original Metal Gear, Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear, that was only released on the PlayStation 2 Special Edition subsistence for Metal Gear Solid, Solid 3 Snake Eater. If you've been enjoying the content on the channel so far, best way you can show it is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Also, don't forget about Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up this weekend, where we will be playing a sports and fighting or fighting platform based game. From the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th generation. You can also follow us on Twitter at our Retrocade. Help spread the word about our little channel here. So we can hit our goal of 100 subscribers, unlock YouTube's customization algorithm, and make it bigger and better. And if there's a game you'd like to see as feature from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet, and it can be any game you want. Well, in the last episode, what we were able to do is we finally got the confidence of Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar by rescuing his daughter, Ellen, from the bowels of Building 1 in the Fortress of Outer Heaven. Now we have the information on what we need to destroy Metal Gear. Now all we have to do is find it. We've been told it's on the 100th sub-basement floor in Building 3. And where we're heading out now is we're heading out into the desert to get to Building 3, to get a couple more things and get the final card key we need to access it. But what we've got to do is we've got to make it through a whole bunch of scorpions. And I have been poisoned. Which is where the antidote comes in handy. Now, in order to get through the desert, you've got to go up four different screens without getting hit by the scorpions. And you need to have the compass equipped. So really, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. We can go straight at it, or we can go up this way and avoid them entirely. And we have been found. So now <clears throat> that we've gotten up here, what we need to do is figure out which trucks we can go in. Uh, the second truck has ammunition. So we're automatically going to get nicked no matter what we do as soon as we walk out of the truck. But, as always, it will help to stock up on bullets for our Uzi. Ow! I got popped even just coming in and out of the truck. That sucked. Then all we need to do is equip card seven and go through this door. No, not the flashlight. Card seven, please. Whoa! Great, even more grunts coming through. Key, please. Whoa. Okay, so trap room. It looks like I'm just going to be dealing with grunts the whole time. Hey, 
there. Now here's the other issue. We've got more pitfalls here. Ah! And I did go the wrong way. Get it straight up and around. Don't waste time. Just open up the door. And then come around this way. Two. So we go through the openings down the right hand side, go all the way to the bottom of the crates in the top corner. Wait a minute. So we took out that hole in the wall, go through the openings down the right side, go all the way to the bottom of the crates in the top right corner. From the left-hand side in the center, go all the way up, and then go to the right to ride in the elevator. Go all the way down. Now, in the Konami NES game, this was the way to get to Metal Gear, and this ended the game. In the Kojima version, this isn't. So there should be an oxygen cylinder on the other side of the wall. And as there are cameras here, I need the old cardboard box. And there's the oxygen tank. Place the pipe stick explosive, get the oxygen tank, go ride the elevator all the way back up. So essentially, this is still the way to get to Metal Gear, but what we have to do is before we get there, we have to go all the way back up, go back to Building 2, and like I said, there was that section in the water that you can't go in without having an aqua lung. really quick and again it's just staying to one side or the other and going all the way down oh we still got poisoned come back in here and this is where the oxygen tank comes in very handy because 
Now we can come down in the water like this and not drown. And the oxygen tank, as far as I know, never runs out of air. But you see how many of these levels we have to go up. We have to go up like three or four of them. quick ah. now card eight should be up here but there is also if I remember it right an electrified floor which I am now standing on That's where the trusty RC missile comes in. Now there is a boss on the other side of this door. It was originally called the Coward Duck, but now he's called the Dirty Duck. And if we take any of those hostages down, we will lose a star for each one we get, we hit. And we can only use the handgun. We cannot use the RC missile or anything else. Oh! And he killed me a lot quicker than I thought he was going to. Even with the body armor. Now we can't rescue these guys either. But now we have card eight. So now we have all the cards in the game. And we have to redo the RC missile. Seriously? Resistance Leader Schneider. I know who the Outer Heavens boss is. No way. The Outer Heavens boss is... Somebody got him. Dun, dun, dun. Now we can go back in the water, go all the way down. Oh, 
Although, now it says I can rescue the prisoners, which is interesting. Because if I can, then I'm going to go get them. I might as well while I'm here. still in here, which they are. There we go. So that's one. Saved. Thanks for saving me. I'm Jennifer's brother. When you make your escape, climb the ladder on the left. I wonder why it wouldn't let me do it the first time. That was weird. But... Be that as it may, we are good to go. Ow. Dude, I'm standing right there shooting him. What the heck? All right. Now we can get out of here. here. Put the Uzi to deal with the Scorpions. for the door. Put the body armor on. Don't have to worry about the pit trap room on the left. Get around that one. Get around that one. And now we will come back down and now we will make the final descent into the bowels of outer heaven to go and finally stop Metal Gear and figure out who the ultimate baddie in this game is because Schneider found out and it looks like he cost it cost him his life in the process Now the other thing we have to worry about with these cameras is these are not your run of typical run of the mill cameras. These when they see us fire lasers thank you for helping me the outer heavens boss is foxhounds commanding officer big boss he's behind all of this don't let him trick you so that is who the ultimate baddie in this game is it is actually our commanding officer big boss which if you know anything about final or uh, about metal gear in any capacity this should not be a big surprise to you so that's still Jennifer telling me about the oxygen tank I already have and we 
just gotta dash away from there. This is Big Boss. Solid Snake, abort the mission. Return immediately. This is an order. Turn off the power on your PlayStation 2 at once. Over. That would be a big negatory. Now, if I remember it right, there is one more wall, or there's one more set of electrified flooring here. That we need to get by. I don't think there's any more secret walls or anything of the sort. And then, let's see. Unless there is something up here. Yeah, there is. Yep, I would have listen. Whoa! Into a pit trap! Just like that one did. <laughs> Whoops. So let's see, I've got about eight minutes to finish everything we got here. And what I'm going to do is, when we get to the bottom, Although I do wonder, with all those trucks up top, do we have more things that we can get aside from ammunition? I've saved it already, so if anything, I can restart it back here. But we are low on rations. We have six rations left. We can hold 12. Oh, the truck moved. Okay. So we ended up all the way back here. Okay, let's try that again. Well, if anything, I can stock up on more rations. But 
but I can pick up a little bit more ammo. So I think about it. We need to. I should top off plastic explosives. So we need 16 of them to blow up Metal Gear. And as of right now, I've got 18. Can we hold more than 20? No, we can't. Alrighty. So now we just gotta book it up this way. Unfortunately, now that we have the oxygen tank and we have the keys to get through building two, this will be a quick little jaunt. Put my enemy uniform. Don't let me in. Key four. I don't care if these guys see me because I'm not going to stick around long enough for them to worry anyway. the band. Put the oxygen tank on because they're going to see me. They're going to try and shoot and it doesn't matter because now I can hide out from under them in this water and they will never see. Well, okay, they did see me, but that still doesn't matter. And give me the compass. away from El Scorpions. And haul up this way. Put the body armor back on. Chase me all you want. I don't care. And now I feel a lot better. So what we will do is we'll head down in the elevator again, but we will save it here. And in the next episode, which will be episode 9, that should be our final episode. Because what we will do is we will make it through this final sub-level. We will make it to Metal Gear. We will blow him up, and then we will confront Big Boss and end the game. So, if you've been enjoying the content on the channel, as always, best way you can show it is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Also, don't forget about Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up this weekend, where we will be playing sports and fighting or fighting platform-based games from the golden age of gaming from 1984 to 2010. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at RRetrocade. Help spread the word if you can, so we can hit our goal of 100 subscribers as soon as possible, make this channel even bigger and better. And if there's a game you would like to see us feature from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th generation, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet. It can be any game from those seven consoles that you would like. As always, my name is Ronan. It's been great to spend this Wednesday with you. Be safe, be well, and I will talk to you again in what I believe will be the final episode of our Metal Gear playthrough. Bye!